Of all the races I have battled throughout the galaxy, the Orc is the hardest to comprehend. They wage war with machines that should not work, care little for strategic gains, and are just as likely to slaughter each other as the enemy. How does one battle an enemy that defies all logic? The Orcs of Warhammer 40k are renowned for their unapologetic, savage behavior and surprisingly humorous culture. With attributes more fitting of roving marauders or cosmic buccaneers than a conventional empire, this formidable and deadly breed of Xenos relishes in warfare. Their approach may seem disorderly, yet it provides an unexpected amalgamation of extreme ferocity and chaotic comedy. In this video, I'd like to provide a brief overview of these green-skinned creatures and delve into a few of the reasons this race stands out as a fan favorite. The orc's existence can be traced back to the grand designs of an advanced civilization known as the Old Ones. In their earliest form, they were meant to serve as a countermeasure against the mighty Catan Empire and their Necron armies. The first orcs, originally known as Krorks, were impressive, surpassing their descendants in both size and intellect. Despite their eventual physical and mental downsizing, the orcs continued to be a potent adversary, with their genetic code instinctively directing them on the art of warfare, repair, and weapon fabrication. Orcs are born from fungal spores, and their ecology is so resilient that they can exist in almost any environment. This facilitates their rapid colonization and reproduction across a myriad of worlds within the galaxy. Orcs demonstrate a unique physiological trait of continuous growth throughout their lifespan, which is directly connected to their social hierarchy. Invariably, the most dominant orcs are the largest, indicating a direct correlation between physical size and societal standing. With an intricate symbiosis of animal and fungus, their physiology operates in perfect harmony. The fungal component enhances the orc's resilience, substituting several critical organs and providing additional protective padding around the remaining ones. This integral combination makes orcs formidable adversaries, capable of enduring and recovering from enormous amounts of damage. Reproduction among orcs is facilitated by the same fungal elements, making them one of the most prolific species in the galaxy. Throughout their lives, orcs release spores, which can lay dormant in the ground for years. This continual dispersal, which intensifies upon death, means that once a planet is invaded by orcs, it is perpetually at risk of recurring infestations. Even after initial orc invasions are quelled, their spore-based reproductive cycle makes complete eradication virtually impossible, ensuring the lingering threat of an orc resurgence for hundreds of years. Consequently, the presence of orcs symbolizes a perpetual, ominous threat in the Warhammer 40k universe. Communicating with an orc is typically an exercise in futility, as they recognize only the language of destruction. Orcs are divided into different clans, each with its characteristics and fighting styles. In the realm of orcish society, Wah triggers a profound phenomenon that occurs when an enormous assembly of orcs stirs a wild frenzy that gradually escalates. Initially noticeable in a few scattered members, it rapidly spreads, inspiring all orcs within proximity to succumb to an irresistible impulse for combat. Wa typically originates from a dominant orc warboss or warlord who unites rival factions into a single, massive army. The Wa sparks interspecies cooperation among the orcs and triggers behavioral anomalies as larger orc groups begin to generate psychic energies. These energies stimulate an explosive growth in orc populations and incite them to increase their aggression. During a WA, orc engineers build enormous war machines and crewed spacecraft to join the expanding conflict. The size of a WA grows with each victory, drawing more orcs to its cause and making it nearly unstoppable. Leading a WA requires both physical strength and cunning, a rare combination among orcs. However, when such a leader arises, they can pose a massive threat to the entire galaxy. Orc warbands consisting of warbosses, elite warriors, and battle-hungry boys are spread throughout the galaxy. 
they harness their latent psychic Wa energy to fuel a killing frenzy, capable of overpowering enemy lines. Thus, in Orcish society, the Wa symbolizes aggression, unity, psychic power, and relentless expansion. While they possess the brute strength to rip apart their enemies, the orc's formidable arsenal, which appears deceptively ramshackle and comical, makes them an existential threat to even the most robust defenses. Their weaponry defies logical explanation, working merely on the basis of their collective belief. Orcs harness the power produced by collective psychic phenomena, which escalates with an increase in their numbers. Tech priests of the Imperium of Man theorize that this collective psychic field might also explain the seemingly improbable functionality of orc technology. This psychic influence allows orc machines to work, offering an explanation for their often devastating effects. Orcs have a fascinating and comedic belief system built around the power of colors. For instance, they believe that red vehicles are faster, blue is considered the luckiest color, while yellow is associated with big and powerful explosions. And due to their collective psychic powers, whenever the orcs paint their equipment a certain color, their belief in its corresponding effect becomes a reality. The ideology of the orcs pivots around the survival of the fittest principle. They have a strong conviction of supremacy over the meek, a belief ingrained so deeply that it propels them on a constant journey to plunge the galaxy into an unending state of war. With an unrelenting desire for dominance, orcs perceive themselves as the ultimate species in the universe, always primed to confront and eliminate any obstacle in their path. Orcs showcase an unpretentious perspective towards existence, devoid of concerns and introspections. Their evolution is marked by a sequence of trials and errors, with no consideration for repercussions. Their satisfaction springs from perpetual warfare, the existence of a superior authority to serve, and a subordinate one to command. There are several orc subspecies, from Gretchen to Snotlings and Squigs, each playing a pivotal part of orcish culture and filling a variety of roles within their society. Orcs exhibit no ethical reservations, even cannibalizing fellow orcs or lesser orc lifeforms without hesitation. Despite their disinterest in material riches, orcs demonstrate an unyielding ambition to obtain increasingly potent and chaotic weapons and transports cherishing their acquisitions fanatically until they discover something of superior firepower. Contrary to common perception, orcs follow a rigid social hierarchy with the most formidable among them, usually a war boss, leading the pack. Despite their lack of philosophical leanings, the orcs' way of life revolves around their belief in two gods, Gork, the god of cunning brutality, and Mork, the god of brutal cunning. The distinction between the two gods lies in their methods. Mork strikes when you're not looking, while Gork strikes when you are. This subtle difference often leads to arguments and fights among the orcs about which god is which. In addition to their belief in Gork and Mork, the orcs also hold faith in an afterlife known as the Great Green. According to their beliefs, orc souls are reincarnated in the Great Green if they manage to please the gods sufficiently. Ultimately, the orcs of Warhammer 40k are a study in the paradoxical combination of comedy and terror, displaying a vibrant culture and a voracious appetite for warfare. The resilience and unending numbers of this war-loving species, along with their baffling technology, unique biology, robust social structure, and unyielding beliefs, create a colorful society that defies conventional understanding. The orcs are a perfect embodiment of the chaotic and often unpredictable nature of the Warhammer 40k universe, where the shout of Wa echoes endlessly. But I'm curious to know what you think of the orcs of Warhammer 40k. Are there any elements of their history, physiology, or culture that stand out to you? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe for more Warhammer 40k and other sci-fi and fantasy news and lore. Thank you all so much for your support. And as always, have a very nerdy day.